jacked up. 2,000 in attendance here at Canterbury Park. It's a full house, great night of fights. It's an honor to be here with you guys. Let me tell you, I'm having a blast. Having a blast, as always, with Lance Anderson, Mike Richmond on my side. Commentary booth of the stars. Yeah, I'm getting goosebumps right now, too. man. I'm excited. Great shape. Melvin. 
definitely been setting the pace here in the first round. Elvis did a really good job getting back up to his feet though after every takedown. Big lefts. Oh, lefts. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a right, oh. uh, short right hook. Bang, bang. Yeah. Right at the bell. <laughs> Unintentional. Unintentional. <laughs> right. Right? Uh, something. He's a love tap. That All right, a, end of the first round. That was the best punch right there. Yeah, the bell. yeah right, exactly. <laughs> so what do you guys have that round scored? Oh, that's close. Mike, what do you say? You know, a uh, very close round, but I think, you know, I, I do really think objectively with the takedowns, had. Even though he didn't get much, you know, I think he might have had that round out. Sure, and the aggression that he was, yeah, yeah, he was doing in, more. He did, he did have the aggression. He was, he was throwing more heavier punches. But there was moments in the fight where Melvin was uh, trying to walk him down, was trying to be the aggressor, trying to stay in the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I would score a 10-9 Donald, but I wouldn't be surprised if the refs went 10-9 Melvin. Either way, it's a close first Very round. Close round. I'm with you. Could even be a 10-10 round, possibly. Yep, so close. for sure. Getting ready for the start of round number two. Drew Studer alongside Lance Anderson, Mike Richmond. We're here at Canterbury Park in Shakopee, Minnesota. Driller Promotions and Stilling Entertainment Group putting on another phenomenal show tonight. Yes, great card, great environment, great crowd. See if the pace slows it all for Donald. Now Melvin's hanging out in the center of the cage. A little change of pace here. He needs to go back to that right hook, actually. Oh. Donald still trying to find that range for the striking. Now. Melvin Bulmer, a uh, purple belt in Gracie Jiu Jitsu under Hoyce and Rodrigo Gracie. Okay. Coming in off a nice win at King of the Cage over Danny Sikora, unanimous decision back in February. Ranked number one by Minnesota MMA, he's at 135 pounds. Is Donald ranked at all? Donald is not ranked. He, well, he took about a year off before fighting his last bout in March. So okay. trying to get his career back on uh, track a little bit. A win over Melvin would certainly do that. Most definitely. Oh. Can you guys? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, Donald needs to use his jab a little bit to set up that left hand. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think Donald, more. I think he yeah. needs to double up his jab. He, double he, he exactly. Needs to, he needs to get a little bit closer. Yep. He, that that uh, overhand is just a little bit off. Yep, double jab, left hand. Another little land. Engine with that right hook there. Jab is still a crit it's critical in boxing, but it's critical in MMA, too. Yeah, absolutely. Look at St. Pierre. Look at uh, St. Pierre's protege. Rory McDonald, yep. yeah. you can dictate with the jab. You dictate that distance. You yeah, I'm a big, distance. I'm a big fan of the jab in MMA. You know, once yeah. you, you get it down. Yeah, especially you being a strong lead hand, jabbing and hooking, huh? Yeah, I mean, and normally you know a southpaw going against a uh, you know uh, orthodox. They say you can't it's hard jab. To, it's hard to land that jab, but I, I still can. find a way I to get too. under there. I knock it over oh, the top. Oh, nice right hook there yeah. by Melvin. Yeah, catch yeah, it down. If you commit to it, you can land it. Yeah, no question. Melvin doing a good job controlling the center of the cage this round. Nice knee by Melvin. Wow.
Donald's trying for that takedown. Melvin's on the arm. Trying for Kamara or something. Well, he's working that arm right there. He found the muscle out of the air. Yeah, Melvin's got some good anti-wrestling. He's got good yeah, hips. Yeah, he does. Yeah, good athlete. Yeah, great counter-wrestling. Yep. Nice. There, Donald got in good. He got in deep. Yeah, he did. Trying to go for the finish. Nice job by Melvin keeping it on the feet here. Yeah. Nice oh, knee by Melvin on, Blomer. Yeah. Those are some good shots. That one shook down a little bit. That did. I don't think it's tall. Donald definitely slowing down here in the second round. Yeah, hands on the knees. Melvin's been doing a good job peppering the body with knees and strikes. You know Donald had a head kick in his repertoire, but he apparently threw it out there. Does. <laughs> that might be his first head kick of his whole career. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> first and last. Donald's expending a lot of energy trying these takedowns. Yeah, absolutely. And getting stuffed. There's nothing worth it getting stuffed on a deep takedown. Another good knee from Melvin. You got to wonder how much the judges are taking consideration of uh, a lot of, you know, him leaning on the cage. You sure. Know? Yeah. It's like they spend about 30 seconds spurts up against the cage. And Melvin always seems to have a good strike coming out of the clinch. Ten yeah, he oh, does. Melvin oh, shoots Wow. Shot. That big was shot right Melvin. at the bell, too. That surprised Donald, that's for sure. Yeah, it did. Wow. Very good. Very good end to the second round by Melvin. I got to give him the round. I think you would agree, Lance. I think so. Mike? Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a Melvin round, I believe. Yep, he was stuffing those takedowns, doing well. I, I have an yep. even going into the third. I do as well. Yep. And Donald's getting tired. He's showing a little wind out there, put the hands on the knees. He's got to yeah. suck it up here. Interesting uh, sitting techniques here. You got Donald Crouch in the corner. You got Melvin, legs all the way yeah. out, yeah, sitting well, right against it. Well, unfortunately, here in Minnesota, they don't let you bring in a, a yeah, stool. That's but ridiculous. Uh, I think it's a good a good move by Melvin because it slows down your heart rate much faster in a yep, sitting position. Exactly. Yep. And I think that's what he's trying to go for right no now. No question. And Emmanuel Stewart's thing is three deep breaths, three big ones, and breathe normal. Yep. You know, and just get, the, get the air in, get it flowing, get that recovery. And then Greg Nelson, one or two little critical pieces of information. You don't want to overload the yeah, guy. You yeah. don't want to give him too much stuff because you're not going to know. It's just a couple of things to work on. Absolutely. What would you tell Donald, Mike, if you were in his corner right now? Keep trying those takedowns? or? Well, I would tell Donald, uh, you know, depending on how he's feeling, I would tell him he's got to double up that jab. Yes. He's got to get in the pocket more, and he's got to do a better job of cutting off the cage. He seems to be following Melvin yes. instead of cutting him off, and that's when he – that's when he tends to be chasing, and that's why he's always just, you know, a couple inches away from those punches. That's good advice right there. Hopefully Greg Nelson passed something like that along. Good sign of respect, touching the gloves. Round number three, the third and final round. There's that jab. Snapped it out. Nice knees. Yeah, nice. Ooh, couple nice knees. But no. Donald's double up over these jab cross, one, two. You know, Donald's been working a lot with Rob Brandt on his striking. Melvin going for another takedown. Wow. It's definitely caught Donald off guard a little bit. It really has. I think we're going to see more shots from Melvin this round. Uh, looks like Melvin thinks he might have the advantage in the wrestling aspect. Now yep. he thinks he has a little bit more in the tank. And, and the conditioning, too, I think. a little think, more yep. conditioning, and, and he might be uh, shooting more often this round. I agree with you, Mike. I think you're right on. Here comes the knees. Oh, nice knees. There's 
a double jab. Put a left hand behind it, though. Yep. Glomber just stalking away. Yeah, walking him down. The open can have him walk into something, though. If someone's walking you down, they can walk into a pop pop. There's a left hand. A little overhand left there from down. I'd like to see both these guys put them together a little more. Jab, cross, hook, yeah. or cross, hook, cross, or a little more combinations, you know? Nice head kick from Melvin. And it Melvin. was, yeah. Melvin's definitely fresher. Yeah, Melvin's only in the center. Yep. And he's doing a pretty good job of um, cutting Donald off. You know, he's yep. just circling. Yep. yep. Um, and he's slowly moving in more and more. Yep, exactly. He's which is right him. there. See that? He's cutting him off, cutting yep. him off, getting in range. Yep. Stepping over, stepping over. Yep, exactly. Nice Good. knee. Yeah, yeah, no. That hurt him. Finisher might be coming up here. I got Melvin uh, up in this round so far. I think Donald yeah, needs I to do. I, I think he needs to do something drastic to take this. I'm with you. Flying head kick by yeah. Melvin. Donald's in serious trouble right now. He desperately needs this take on, at the very least. He just doesn't have the gas to finish it either. I don't think. I don't think so either. Melvin working some more elbows. Yeah. Locked up Donald's arm, it looks like. It's a problem, you get stuck, oh. you get stuck there. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh. Can't see how deep it is. There it oh, is. Tap. Wow. Big good, win for good Melvin. For Melvin. <laughs> Right in Donald's corner. He took it though. We said it was tied going into the third round. Yep. Melvin took control of the third round and dominated the whole the round. That's, nope. that's a sign of a fighter who's ready for the next level, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think so too. That was a big win for him. Ty from Nutrishop just stopped by. He's got the t-shirt on, looks good. Nutrishop Lakeville, anybody in need of supplements. Yes, Hit that's up a my place man, to go. Yes. No better person in Minnesota than anyway well, right now. He's a fighter, he supports the fighters, he knows everything. No question. So bigger and better things on the horizon for Melvin Blummer. Uh, one fight that I've been trying to put together for about two years now is a Melvin Blummer-Travis Redinger matchup at 135. Oh, that'd be an interesting fight. The two biggest 35-pounders in Minnesota. Travis is great fighting off his back. I mean, I, I don't know who would win that fight. Yeah. Is Redinger still training the academy in Richmond? You know, I haven't seen him there in a, in a good while. Uh, I, I know he had an injury. I don't know if it was some type of shoulder injury. I think he's trying to work, uh, slowly work him, uh, his way back. Okay. But I haven't seen him. Okay. I don't know if he's training at different times or not. Okay. Yep. I actually figured Travis would maybe make his way up to uh, St. Cloud now that Sergio's back in town. I know those two are always very close. Uh-huh. Yeah,